Scarlett here and I'm going to talk to you today about getting rid of nasty pests, specifically cockroaches. In the south, cockroaches are about as common as ants. They do not mean that you're dirty necessarily. Um, they just come in the house like any other beetle and they decide they like it because you have food and you have water and you have warmth. Now I will tell you, um, I have been making these, these uh, cockroach bombs since about 1996 and I have lived in a very old house with a lot of big gaps and cracks and I did not have a cockroach problem ever until about 2016. I got a little lazy, was distracted, forgot about making fresh, fresh bombs. Um, and we bought uh, a product, uh, a purchase from a yard sale, and apparently we brought cockroaches in our house. And I am telling you, they were bad. So I'm here to tell you, you can get rid of them. You just have to be patient. So I'm gonna tell you my secret to getting rid of them and keeping them away forever. You need five things. You need egg yolk. I did not go ahead and boil because I've already prepared my mix, but you need an egg yolk, sugar, peanut butter, boric acid. It's at the dollar store for obviously a dollar. Then you need this. Did you know they make birth control for bugs? So it's called IG Regulator from Martin's and it actually um, is gonna be what keeps them away for good. But let me tell you how this is gonna work. So you, of course, get your boiled egg yolk out and you put equal amounts of sugar and boric acid. Now the sugar is what draws them um, and the boric acid is what's gonna kill them and all their little friends. More about that later. So you get equal amounts of sugar and boric acid. Now, honestly, you're gonna need like an eighth of a cup. You're gonna have this big egg yolk, all crumbled, see how nice and yellow that is? And then just add like, you know, an eighth of a cup of sugar, an eighth of a cup of boric acid, and honestly, you're gonna have some left over because that's what I did. This is from last year. I froze it. And then add one like drop of this regulator. This is a one ounce container. It actually, you'd need two ounces in a gallon if you're gonna make a spray, like a birth control spray. You can actually also add this stuff to insecticide and then you'd add one ounce per gallon and um, you know, you can spray. But anyway, we're making these bombs. So just put a drop of it in here and then just enough peanut butter to make it this thick, okay? And because what you want is the peanut butter, the oil is going to keep it nice and soft. But here's the thing, like every other creature on the planet, cockroaches love peanut butter. You can also add, oddly, a dash of garlic or onion. I'm sorry, onion um, flakes. They like onions too. So onions and sugar, but the sugar is what's going to draw them. The peanut butter is also a draw and it will keep it together. This is what's going to kill them. This is what's going to keep them from reproducing. So you just kind of mix it all together and then prepare little balls. And I use these seashells because I'll never forget what's in here. And well, you don't even need that big of a ball. Anyway, you just put it in there and you're going to put these underneath the warm and wet places, sinks, stoves, refrigerators. That's where they love to be, your laundry room. Um, also, if you want to get rid of roaches, if you already have them, you cannot leave dog food or cat food out at night. You're going to have to put it up um, because cockroaches come out at night and they're going to want to eat. So anyway, you go ahead and put these in there. Now, here's what's going to happen. Um, you're going to know, well, if you actually get that close to any dead ones, that it's working because apparently... Um, the birth control, once a cockroach cannot reproduce, their wings will twist. They won't be flat anymore, they'll just be twisted. But you'll just know it works because you're gonna stop seeing them. Now, it's gonna take about a month because and here's the other thing that's kind of gross. If you have dead roaches, 
sweep them underneath your stove or sweep them underneath your refrigerator. Why? Because the roaches that are still alive, because they have a life cycle, the ones that are still alive will eat the dead ones and the dead ones are already poisoned. So they become your, your, your friend when they're dead because they will now kill any new ones. The life cycle I believe is a month or so of a cockroach and the reproduction cycle. So it's gonna take a month or so, but pretty soon you're gonna start seeing um, less, less and less activity. Um, and uh, yeah, this really works. Like I said, we, we did this, it took a while, and it's been two years now and I've not seen a cockroach. So you have to redo these every year. Um, you, you, know, you could redo them more often if you want to, but I mean, you, you, they don't eat it up. It, it's just what they do is they, they nibble, because they're so small, they nibble on that, and then they you know go underneath and die somewhere, and then they kill off their friends. So there you go. That is my um, recipe for roach bombs. Hope it helps. Happy homesteading.